you dig. So thank you for joining me, Tim. Sure. Um, I wanted to, just to start with a very simple question. So why should people call 811? Wow, that's that's very uh, very tough question for a lot of people because it, it costs you a little bit of uh, planning to do that. And the, the reason is, is anytime you're digging, there's underground utility lines that could possibly be in, in the area that, that you're doing your digging. And if you don't call and get those things located, you don't know they're there. So a simple thing is, uh, such as uh, replacing a mailbox or working on a deck or planting a tree, uh, you got this Saturday morning project that you go to do. You start digging, and all of a sudden you find a, a utility line there. Heaven forbid that you would hit it and break it and cause an outage or something. But it, it's all about protection of the underground facilities, uh, safety, and it's the law to do it. It's, it's the law. And, we certainly don't want anybody getting injured doing a homeowner project. So, yeah, you, you need to know where those things are at. Um, you can't see them from the surface, uh, so you need to call the people who are experts at locating those things so that they can find them for you. And just a quick follow-up to that: when somebody calls 811, how long does the utility company have to mark where the lines are? Under the current law, which is going to change January the first, uh, they have two full working days to do that. So, if you call on Monday at 9 o'clock, then after uh, 9 o'clock on Wednesday, under the current law, you can dig. So you have to wait full, two full working days to do that. And that excludes weekends and holidays, um, but it's just all the working day, two of them. Okay, and you mentioned that there are some state level changes coming. Could you talk a little bit more about that? Are there major things that we should be aware of? Major changes. House Bill 303 was passed by the last General Assembly. Uh, it changes a lot of the technical pieces of the law. Um, way too much for us to go into here. Uh, but it will change the way that all the utilities uh, manage their damage prevention programs and the way an excavator will manage their job sites where they're digging. I, I would highly encourage everyone to do the research on House Bill 303. It really is going to change it. The timing that we just talked about changes. It, it, it adds virtually another day to that. There's all kinds of different requirements, such as the tolerance zone. When a, when a utility line is marked under the current law, you've got 18 inches on each side that you can't dig in there. That goes to 24 inches. And there's a lot of changes that take place with House Bill 303. Okay, so we should all pay attention to House Bill 303 yes. and definitely call before you dig and make sure that you're planning for that for any of your projects that are in your yard. Um, thank you for this very helpful information, Tim. And we're going to follow up next with Lisa from Columbia Gas. So I am here with Lisa Smith from Columbia Gas. We're out at Thursday Night Live where they have a tent that's all about 811. We just talked with Tim Vaughn from Kentucky 811 about why people should call 811 when they're doing a project at home. And now we're going to talk with Lisa about what that looks like a little bit more from the utility side. So thank you for so much for being here. Yes, thank you. Um, so Lisa is the person that I work with from the council side when when residents call my office and ask about projects that are going on, if it has to do with Columbia Gas, she's my contact. So we're in uh, frequent uh, phone conversations and emails and things like that and very quick to respond. So um, that is all wonderful. But Lisa, can you tell us a little bit about what um, people might see in their yard if there is an upcoming project? Like sometimes flags just show up. So can you tell us a little bit first about the colors of those flags and what sure. they mean? Absolutely. Probably the most common uh, colors that you'll see would be yellow for gas, uh, red for electric, blue for water, orange for cable or telephone, and green for sewer, which you all are doing a lot of sewer projects. We are. <laughs> um, and we have some uh, gas projects going on in our district as well right now That's where right. you're replacing lines. Right. Um, now, can you talk a little bit about the timing? Because oftentimes sure. I'll get questions from residents about, oh, well, these, these flags just showed up, and they're expecting that a project is happening right at that moment. Right. So can you talk a little bit about, like, when a flag might show up and what that means? Sure. 
So homeowners and professional contractors, excavators, are required to call or contact 811 online at least two business days prior to beginning a project. Now that project may be um, an actual excavation of some, site. It, some sort. It might be landscaping, it might be um, a, a deck being installed, whatever. Um, it also might be survey work for a later project. So um, it's really important that if you see those flags or those marks, not to remove them from your yard because uh, it may be the water company, it may be the city uh, doing a sewer project, it may be uh, any number of people who might be doing that project. Yeah, and I know even while we were standing here, you've gotten a report where somebody has um, maybe hit a line. And yeah. so any time that someone hasn't called and we, we might have um, a project going on where a line is hit, that ends up being an emergency situation and right. a gas situation. Right. Um, so it's very important to call. I want to thank you again yeah. for being with us today. Thank you. Um, and for all this helpful information. Sure, thank you.